many lives today. What did you take that to mean? Um, I took that as um, he was the shooter. James and Jennifer Crumley appearing in district court in Oakland County today. They're both charged with four counts of manslaughter. Their 15-year-old son, Ethan Crumbly, allegedly shot and killed four students and injured six other students and a teacher on November 30th at Oxford High School. MidMichigan Now's Courtney Bennett joins us from our content center tonight. And Courtney, you've been listening in virtually to this court hearing today. What happened? Stephanie, this court hearing just wrapping up about 30 minutes ago. It started this morning around 9.20 a.m. And again, just wrapping up just after 4.30 p.m. We heard from witnesses in this James and Jennifer Crumbly case. Now, we heard from about five witnesses that were called to the stand. Originally, the defense asked for this to be delayed. They claimed that they did not have enough time to look through discovery. The judge ultimately ultimately saying that they did have enough time and they also requested the list to be limited from 30 witnesses. The prosecutor said that they limited that to 16. Now today the judge heard from five of those witnesses. Three witnesses worked with Jennifer Crumbly. One of the witnesses owned the barn where the Crumbleys boarded their horses and received riding lessons. We also heard from a detective in the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. The horse barn owner said James Crumbly tended to one of their horses on the morning of November 30th. One thing the barn owner said was Jennifer rarely talked about Ethan, but remembers her saying he is weird and does not have friends. Testimony from co-workers of Jennifer recalled how Jennifer said the Crumbleys were having marital problems, saying they had started seeing other people. The co-worker said on the morning of November 30th, Jennifer came back to work after being called to Oxford High School and shared the alleged drawing from her son. The co-worker says she thought it would be best if Jennifer took Ethan out of school on November 30th. I said um, it would be nice for her to take him for a day to, you know, go see a movie or go have lunch or do something with him. Um, on that day? Yes, on that day. Um, the day that I, I said she should have brought him home. And why did you say that? I felt it was a, a disturbing photo and I thought this child needed to be around family. Um, that's what I would have done and I thought that I told her I thought that's what she should have done. Okay, what was her response? Um, she told me that she thought she would just take him to the barn that night and, you know, give him some work and give him a little something to do after school. The suspects in the killing of a security guard at a family dollar in Flint, they're now heading to trial. Today, Judge Pacal finalized a date for jury trial for Larry Edward Teague Jr. and Raymania Bishop. March 23rd will be that day. Bishop is facing these charges here. The following charges, first degree murder, felony firearms, carrying a concealed weapon, and then Teague, who you also see there on your screen, he faces first degree murder and also felony firearms. Now, according to Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, several witnesses say the security guard, Calvin Munnerlin, and a woman got into a verbal altercation after Munnerlin told her daughter she had to wear a mask inside that store. The prosecutor says the woman spit on Munnerlin, this was back in 2020, and then was forced to leave after that. Prosecutor David Layton says a short time later, the woman returned with both of the suspects in this case, and they say both men allegedly entered the store, confronted Munnerlin about disrespecting, allegedly, their wife and mother. According to authorities, Bishop pulled out a gun, shot Munnerlin in the head, and took off. Both men were arrested after a manhunt.